I know that this information has been in circulation for a while. I'm just getting to it because I've been under the weather. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to show you all a clip as it relates to Danielle Thomas Dodd. If you haven't seen it, her rant, her giving her grievances to sports max as it relates to G3s and GOAs. After watching that, we're going to come talk about it. I'm going to show you all some more clips as to the response from the media. Let's go. Tell us a bit about what happened out there. Um, I mean, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, you know, the qualification is something that is definitely within my reach. However, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been very frustrating um, to every time come to these major champ um, Olympic Games and, you know, not making the finals. And, um, you know, this time around, it was definitely something that I felt like was easy for me to do. Um, however, I didn't have my coach here. I've been in the village for two and a half weeks. And I was denied the, the privilege of, of, of having a, a, a coach's pass for my coach to even be at the, the training facilities for two and a half weeks. So you're talking about 365 days of training just gone down the drain because I didn't have my coach for two and a half weeks while being here. So it is definitely very frustrating. Um, you know, and it's, 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 I think it's something that I definitely have to sit and reflect on and, and moving forward as to you know what will be definitely best for me and my mental health because I cannot do this anymore it's very frustrating dealing with JOA and J3s because these people don't care about field events in Jamaica and if they did they would make sure that we have everything we need to make us comfortable because my coach is not just a part of my 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 my, my training process you know he's a very crucial part of my warm-up and getting ready for preparations and I didn't have him for two and a half weeks two and a half weeks it's very frustrating because this is definitely something that I'm more than capable of obtaining and I came short today. Yeah, I can feel and sense and understand your frustration, particularly now that you see Jamaica competing so well in the field event. Exactly, and that's the irony of it. The gold medal that they were sitting down waiting for did not come from the track. It came from the field events. And, that's, and, the, and those are the events that they neglect so much in Jamaica. And most of the medals that we have gotten so far at these games comes from the field events. And we're the most marginalized groups within Jamaica track and field. And it's very frustrating and it's time for them to stop and really reflect on what they're doing to us as athletes. Daniel Thomas, I'm grateful you spoke your mind to us. And I'm so compassionate and sorry for your experience. You really performed well on this world stage well done thank you very much okay guys you heard what she said she aired her frustration and i completely felt it i understood what she was saying as it relates to needing that emotional support whenever you are at a major event i am not an athlete but there have been times where i had to perform in front of a crowd or do a speech and i needed some emotional support as it relates to preparation and things of that nature so i do understand where daniel famous that is coming from there are some clips that have been circulating on twitter clips from cliff hughes um radio show that he does as well as from nationwide and i did not like the tonality um that these clips had i did not like the response that was given to daniel thomas dodd i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna play it now and then after that we're gonna discuss let's go um good afternoon to viewers and listeners i'm a panelist Amen. Um, she's behaving like a spoiled child. Um, the, the, the president of Jerry said that she was in a program that she received, what, about 15 million, he said? Yes. Okay. Right. Now, think about that. How many of these athletes have received so much money? Yes. And, and, and so much help at the same time. And she's blaming that because her coach is not, she's not a high school student. A relical, she, she's a professional that has been in the business for so long. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me now. She said she had trained for 365 days. Right? That means a one year she had trained for. Eh? Rubbish. And because the coach is not there, that's why she failed. And now she's blaming the J3 and the GOA and everybody because her coach is not there. Foolishness. I, I, I don't support that. And because she failed, they have to point the finger somewhere mm -hmm. and say it's your fault and your fault. Why I feel no, I I I I, I don't support that. No, I've seen many times coaches coach using telephone, yes. using technology. Yes. 
put it on the phone and they do their thing and then he comments and say what have you, what have you. Yes. Don't tell me about the car, my coach is not here. You're a baby, you have to get nipple back planting. No nah, man, you know exactly what to do. So I don't support that. Uh, as and I, and I, then so the problem about that, sorry John, is ahead, that there are a lot of persons out there who don't understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. So them just jump and them take it and them run with it and chat all kind of foolishness. Phyllis, she, her coach traveled with her throughout the summer in Europe at various meets. But she but I also mentioned I also mentioned that you got coaches pass doing a competition in Paris. So I don't know and she and he was in fact in Paris. Are so you saying then that. Mr. Watts, are you saying then that that her her coach who is her husband could have been at different training sessions with her throughout uh, her time at the Olympics before she went on to the field to do her event? Or could have I been with her a, at the point of the event as I well? Made a statement. I made a statement that she had the, it was possible for her to do whatever she wanted to do with the, in the absence with the, her coach or with the Jamaican coach. So no, but, but what we're trying to understand been. is that the coaching pass that you're speaking of, could her coach have been with her in the stadium at the time of her event? He got coaching pass for her to part for her event. That's what I said. Yes. Ah. Yes. I don't know if he was in there, but he got the pass. I didn't see actual look and see him there and say he was there. I saw you there, but he got the pass for her in competition. Mm -hmm. It was provided. A minute, and this is an exclusive response. And the headline will be Daniel Thomas Dodd is not telling the truth. Mm. If she doesn't recant, she'll not be accredited for another Olympic Games. Wow. Wow. We're putting that together as we speak. I just came back. Yes. Well, I suspect we're going to have more of this, you know, because of uh, the the performance or lack of performance in Paris. And there, I suspect there, magnify things. Yes, and I suspect there are several other stories to be told as to what Without question. what really yeah is happening. Uh, what's really what, what is happening in Paris? What is it? Yeah well, <laughs> yeah, well I can tell you I've heard about more. I'm not gonna say it because I've not yet been able to put a finger on it or get anybody to say yay or nay about it. But you're right. You suspect there are going to be more stories. I sometimes. suspect so. Thank you, Wayne. Take care of yourself. Okay, guys, you heard all three clips from the various individuals. You know, you heard as well what they said in the first clip. I'm not sure who was speaking, but he said, um, he asked if Danielle is a baby and if she need nipple buckle. And uh, in the second clip with Nationwide, um, the person that was on the other end of the call he basically said that the pass was actually given or was there for her coach to be there in paris and then the final clip with cliff hughes the individual who was on the other line said that um if daniel doesn't recant her statement then she won't be allowed to compete in another olympics she won't get the accreditation that she would need in order to compete no i find this disturbing i do not like the fact that she's being asked if she's a baby and if she needs nipple bottle because at the end of the day athletes do need their coaches to help with their performance i am an avid track and field fan and every time they switch to the throws i don't know if you see that there's this section where you have the coaches and every time an athlete throws the athlete would run across the track and go to that section and the coach would say something to them it looks like they're guiding them as to how to do a better throw or they would have like a tablet or a phone recording their throw or um, that jump or whatsoever they did um, for that event in order to give them guidance and in order to help them to correct it so that in the next throw the next jump the next performance they can do better daniel not having that her coach being there she would have been at a disadvantage because remember you know she was at eighth place and she had dropped down to 13th place and because she dropped down to 13 she didn't make it to the finals 
and she said that she knew that she had it in her to at least make the finals and it's very disheartening to know that you have the potential and the ability to do something however that has been hindered because of circumstances beyond your control now i saw some information from different sports commentators and analysts saying that it was impossible to get all athletes to have um their coaches there with them at the village and things of that nature and how different coaches are assigned who are specialists and things like that i understand all of that so i see two sides you know however to say that she is acting like a baby and if she need nipple buckle and to say that she needs to rec recant that statement um i find it quite odd i mean if she wasn't telling the truth why would the reaction of the joe and the j3s be of that nature you know when them say um who the cap fit make them wear it but you know when somebody is being accused of something and that person knows that they're wrong they would scream out and ball out this is the vibe that i am getting it doesn't scream hey let's protect our athletes let's be apologetic let us see where we have gone wrong no it's given the vibe of um they messed up or we messed up but hey it's j3 it is jos who are you to dare to speak out i saw some i saw a tweet from warren rear and warren rear completely backed up what daniel thomas dodd said um and said that documents are coming soon so i'm gonna be on a lookout for that i also saw another tweet from this individual and a youtube video stating that um glenn mills sides and agrees with daniel thomas dodd because j3 is gets um two million every year or two million in sponsorship rather um allegedly i have to say allegedly because i don't know what is in their checkbooks and balances you know but they get a certain amount of sponsorship a year so where is the money now it's not the first second or third time i have heard things about j3s and joes and how certain athletes are given privileges this is what i've heard i do have not fact checked this i've just heard it from the internet and internet sources but i don't put it past them and then the fact that they're gonna post up um scholarship she got a, a 50 million dollar scholarship where in her rant did she say that she did not receive financial support that is the thing that i don't want to and about individuals support is not just about money support remember her in her rant she said that she didn't have emotional support she said that her coach is her physiotherapist that means you know when those athletes get like those rubs um to help them with like muscle tension and things of that nature and to help prevent cramps and stuff like that her 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 coach does those things and remember that her coach is her husband so if she has an emotional attachment to her coach which is her husband that can affect anyone come on i don't see the need to talk about the girl as if or the the, young, the woman because she is i believe she's 31 i don't see the need to talk to her so disgusting and derogatory lee if that is even a word for, for, the, for the grade i ask her if she she a baby and if she she definitely for the pan nipple buckle look at roger stoner roger stoner who threw the 70 meters and got the olympic record for jamaica he had his coach and in his interview roger said that his coach told him not to overthink it and just to throw so if Roger didn't have that ear, that 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 voice of his coach in his ear at the time when he was supposed to throw and throw that Olympic record, maybe Roger wouldn't have won, or maybe he would have won but not have an Olympic record. So how can you ask her if she is a baby and if if she um need nipple buckle? That is so unprofessional and so uncouth. It's actually very classless and tasteless. 
I, I really don't appreciate that. I understand that maybe the individual that was speaking, he was speaking out of frustration. I do not know his name. I, I, I listen. I don't know anything about him. But from an outsider listening and watching, and even from um taking from the point of view of someone who is not Jamaican and is hearing the things that are happening in Jamaica, it sounds bad. I have seen individuals saying that Daniel needs to switch her allegiance at this point, and I don't want her to because listen she has been in the game for so long so to switch now like no i don't need that and then to threaten her saying that if she doesn't recant the statement they won't accredit her like what kind of bullyism is this so what messages j3 and jo is saying are that they're sending out the message to the athletes that listen do not speak bad about the organization and if you do you will be silenced so what free speech is no longer free are they upset by how she voiced her concerns maybe because she did it on sports max and sports max has a wide audience it's not just jamaicans listening you are also have other caribbean individuals listening as well so maybe that maybe it's the exposure that she has now brought the negative exposure she has brought on j3s and goa why they're saying what they have to be saying and putting up um instagram posts saying that she was a recipient of 50 million dollars and things of that nature when she mentioned nothing about money but just the mere fact that she needed her coach there for support i don't understand i'm trying to be as balanced as i can be because yes i understand that every athlete's coach cannot be there i get that and i do understand that um certain athletes are given this 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 and that and the third however at the same time you don't need to bash the lady asking her if she needs nipple buckle when every athlete needs a coach in order to guide them don't you think that after each heat in the 100 and the 200 men and women that the coaches they are there and say hey listen listen up bleak listen um such and such listen such and such you need to do this you need to do that in order to make it into the semi-finals all right so you're in the semi-finals okay just ensure that you come in the top one or so or ensure that you do this 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 that and a third in order to make it to the finals don't you think that those athletes need a coach to tell them that so if she doesn't have that um coach and if that coach has been going remember you know someone said in one of the, the the videos that that coach was there and traveled with her during the summer and and such and such so if that is the norm if if that is the norm and that is her mo the coach is always there then the coach not being there would actually help to hinder her performance at the major championship we need to have a better culture as it relates to supporting our athletes and i'm not talking about the fans because i know that jamaicans fans you know they go all out if they lose jamaica will you know if you deserve a beating you will get a, a, a bashing and if you deserve praise you will get praise my issue is not with the fans but i'm talking about the support and accrediting bodies they need to do better because it's not the first second or third time that i am hearing these things as a track and field fan saying that j3 joa doing this doing that and then you have warren weir and you have no glenn mills siding with daniel thomas Dog. that means that there is some truth into it daniel i hope that this situation with doesn't affect you mentally i hope that um j3s and joes they don't ban you from another olympics because i don't see what you did wrong in terms of voicing how you felt because how how will these organizations get better if they're not exposed and guess what i'm pretty sure it's not everybody in goa and it's not everybody in j3 is doing this i'm pretty sure that probably it's a higher up or a select head in the organization doing something to hurt the athletes so we need to do better and daniel if you are going to go to the next world games or the next olympics because you know you're 30 when you still have another olympics and world games in you just and if you ever feel frustrated see if you can channel that frustration in the terrain you know see if you just I'm not saying don't speak out 
but if you know that this is how know that you see that this is how they are and they're going to try to silence you see if after the games or see if you can go to a higher body than the jishwees and joeys to get yours to get your voice heard because and another thing i want to say you know you realize that it's after both and after you and after asafa and after warren we're um after they have retired this is when they're speaking out they didn't speak out while they were in it because maybe they they have and they do understand what is really going on behind the scenes um with these accrediting bodies so daniel next time see if you can go to a higher up and see if you can um get your issues and your concerns rectified in private so that they won't come and call you a, a child or class you as a child because that was just very derogatory she didn't call out anybody from the j3s or the GOEs, but yet still this individual is saying um if she need nipple buckle and if she is a child it's tasteful anyways thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe